All right, so tonight, I'm really, really happy to introduce Sacred Steve Adler. He's gonna be talking about love and gratitude and the raw food diet, and I can tell you, from what, what I know about Steve, he definitely exudes that, just from, from the get-go. As soon as I met Steve, it was just obvious. He, the love just flows out of him. Steve is the founder and creator of Sacred Chocolate. If you have not tried Sacred Chocolate, you, <laughs> big eyes over here. If you have not tried Sacred Chocolate yet, it's amazing. It is, in my opinion, absolutely the best raw chocolate out there. It's truly amazing stuff. You are an artist. Steve is also an ordained minister and chaplain at Spiritus Church. He holds a bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering, a master's degree in aerospace engineering from Stanford University. So quite a bit of talent there, definitely. Inspired by Anthony Robbins and Glenda Green, Steve believes that one stepping stone to empowering the sacred heart is through the raw food diet. So please, a warm welcome for Steve Adler. Thank you. What a beautiful introduction, Steve. Thank you so much. Wow. Okay. How's everybody doing? Great, great, great. Well, I feel totally honored and blessed to be here to share from my heart and my mind uh, some of the wisdom I've accumulated over the last 15, 20 years about love and um, its relationship to our food and diet and um, you know it's obviously an expression of my love now has turned into sacred chocolate and uh, it's really been a calling actually uh, for me um, if you had asked me five years ago am I ever going to be in the chocolate business I would have said what I'm just scratching my head <laughs> so I really actually it, ha it has been a real calling and I, I really feel honored and blessed uh, to bring about this whole revolution, um, you know, in chocolate making and along with a whole host of other people out there doing the same thing. Um, I want to uh, back up a little bit of, of be, you know, how I came to where I am now, because there's always a little bit of story and, well, how did you get to where you are now? Like, why are you wearing this funny hat and what's that all about? And, well, what happened with me is uh, back in 93, I um, came across the work by Anthony Robbins called Unlimited Power. And in that book, you know, he said, hey, go out and buy a juicer. If, if you're broke, sell your car and buy a juicer. It's gonna take you a lot further down the road. <laughs> and that, that really caught my ear because I was just ready to hear that information at that point in my, in, in my life. I had, been studying a lot of information about self-improvement and positive mental attitude and self-image psychology and things like this. And so at that point, I had become quite an independent thinker and, and capable of just making my own decisions. And so I thought, wow, here's a guy who's a, a real leader, a, a wise person, a positive person, and he's talking about this um, interesting turn in, in a, a diet type of lifestyle. And I thought, you know, and, and he, his argument was, well, why don't you look at all these great thinkers and philosophers throughout history, you know, and he's naming people like Einstein, he's saying that they, they were all vegetarians, and there's probably a good reason why. And I thought to myself, well, you know, that's, I'm a logical person, I was a, you know, an aerospace engineer at the time, I thought, I'm going to try it. And so it was amazing. I actually just went for it. And for the first several months, he just kept calling the shots in this book. He said, you know, you're going to go through a detox and you're going to go through this. And I'd never had any sort of like symptoms like hay fever or detox or anything like this. And all of a sudden, six weeks into it, I'm having all these weird symptoms. And I'm like, oh my God, there's some truth to this. And so as I dove into it further and started reading other books more and more, I started realizing the truth of the fact that these raw plants are so critical to our overall health and that we're really designed to eat at least the majority, if not all of our diet as raw plants. And you know, obviously we've strayed away from that a lot. So it was about 
what kind of strategies can we you know move towards to maximize that back then i was all about like maximizing things in my life right like maximizing my efficiency and my uh, ways of doing things and my lifespan and my longevity and you know because that's just where i was in my life and so this played a perfect part in that and so can anybody tell me what the very most important thing is about raw foods what's that Healthy, yeah, yeah. It's that you eat them. <laughs> That's the very most important thing. That you eat them. No, just kidding. <laughs> it, you're right, though. It, it, it's the life force. It's the, actually, it, it comes down to the water, the, just the high water content. You know, we're 70% water, and we're very special water. We're this, like, biologically active water, right? And, you know, a lot of the health promoters out there will talk about the value of water. There's a whole industry now that's sprung up around water and filtration systems and bringing the vibration of water higher and higher and higher. Well, all this real high vibration water is also in raw plants. In fact, that it's, it's actually the best form. And when I first got into raw foods, it was like, wow, that, it seemed like I was just doing more and more juicing and more and more eating raw plants to the point where I, I never even, water was the furthest thing from my mind. I never even thought about water. I was so hydrated all the time. It was like, bottle of water? It was like water filtration system? No, I just have my juicer, you know, and I have my, my salads. And, and when you're like that, you're not thirsting for water all the time. So it's, a lot of it's just that plain hydration and then combining it with things that make, you know, eating raw foods easy. You know, trying to work out strategies, no matter what your lifestyle is, whether you're raising a family, right, whether you're working three jobs, whether, whatever you're doing, it's figuring out strategies that work for you that just, and not getting too mental or rigid about the whole thing, right? It's about, okay, let me see if I can just figure out how to make a cool salad dressing on my own with my blender. That right there is half the trick right there. I mean, if you can make a good salad dressing that can actually store in the fridge for a few days, you pour that on any sort of raw vegetable period and it'll be you know, tasty enough to eat on a regular basis. Even if you're sick of eating raw broccoli. <laughs> you dip raw, it's amazing, you dip raw broccoli into some savory sauce. I remember in 1999, I was, I was calling up Gabriel Cousins, a you know, famous raw food doctor, and I said, I just feel like I'm eating, you know, too many avocados. What, what do I do? And he said, well, just, just eat like half an avocado a day, you know, and just learn how to make a really good seed sauce. You know, and just, just use that seed sauce as, you know, over some salad and, and you'll be fine. And I was like, oh, okay. You know, so I got into that. So between the smoothies, right, you've got, everybody kind of starts off with the smoothies, right, because we all have a, sweet tooth, right? <laughs> but then you turn the smoothies into salad dressings. And after a while, your superfood smoothie becomes a superfood salad dressing. And then you've got balance there. You've actually got things that work just on a very basic level, just to you know, maximize your intake of raw plant foods. Now, the title of the talk, how does that relate to spirituality? Well, from an alchemical standpoint, raw plant foods, what are raw plant foods very high in? I just said it. Water. Water. Alchemically, water is associated with what? Anybody know? Is it salt? It, magnetism. Special kind of, actually a special kind of magnetism called primal magnetism. And what is the main characteristic of the physical aspect of the center of our soul? <laughs> you can only ask that question if you're wearing this hat. <laughs> it's primal magnetism. It's primal magnetism. Yet yeah, love manifest in this physical 3D plane is primal magnetism. So it turns out that raw plant foods, which are very, very high in water, are very, very supportive of our spiritual center. You can call it however you want to call it. All spiritual paths and religions call it different things. Some, you know, some religions call it the sacred heart. I love to refer, refer to this center as the sacred heart just because it's such a beautiful image. Um, 
but you know, some people call it the zero point, the seat of the soul, um, the, 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 the greater self.